If you are a Windows user looking to improve your visual communication, this is a great quick tool for you. The snipping tool can be used to quickly grab an image of a portion of your screen and apply minimal modifications to it before saving it or pasting it elsewhere. I am John Rucker, hoping to show you how to use the snipping tool quickly and effectively in your digital life. The first step is always identifying what you need to capture. We're talking static images here. Use a screen video recorder such as TinyTake to capture moving images. I'll be grabbing an image I've already uploaded to Flickr to avoid copyright issues. Once your image is on screen, simply click your start bubble, find accessories, and click snipping tool. If you use this often enough, you might want to set a shortcut or learn keyboard shortcuts such as the window key and type snip. As the snipping tool opens, it will automatically start in the selection mode, making the rest of your screen appear whitened until you click and drag a selection rectangle around what you wish to select. Upon release of the mouse button, you have accomplished a few things. Firstly, and most obviously, the snipping tool loads your selection as an isolated image. Secondly, the selected area is automatically copied into the clipboard in case you immediately wish to paste it elsewhere. If you don't wish to immediately paste it elsewhere, the snipping tool offers some basic features such as save, where you can save the image as a PNG, GIF, or JPEG basic image types. You can also use the pen and highlighter tools to call extra attention or modify your image. The eraser tool removes your marks. As you are making changes, they are automatically copied to the clipboard, so at any time you can paste them into another application. In short, use the snipping tool to take snapshots of portions of your screen and then make them available through other applications or as saved images. Get to the snipping tool through the Start button, Programs, and Accessories menus. I'm John Rucker, and thank you for watching.